One of the interesting things about COVID-19 is just how selective it is. This is not a bubonic plague or a cholera or a scarlet fever, something that strikes down even healthy people. COVID-19 is primarily uh, a, a disease that seriously um, debilitates or hospitalizes or kills you know, people who have some other compromise in their health system. Um, doesn't mean they're necessarily sick, but you know, people who are uh, have diabetes or heart disease or autoimmune diseases or or simply overweight um, are the ones who are particularly at risk. And what's one of the main features of our of our society right now is that the the diseases that are really killing people, the diabetes and the heart disease and the cancer are uh, primarily diseases of lifestyle, primarily diseases of, of choices of how to eat and, and how to move their bodies or not. And one of the things that's most striking about the coverage of the pandemic is how little coverage has been given to encouraging people to do a better job of taking care of themselves. You know, it's not a complete solution, but if people were to eat more healthily and move their bodies more regularly and, uh, and take care of themselves in terms of their physical health, then these, this, this, this awful pandemic that is debilitating our healthcare system would, would not be as nearly as bad of a problem. And COVID-19 is going to be with us apparently for quite a while. Um, but, you know, and that revelation is, is really, um, you know, sinking in, but apparently it hasn't sunk into the policymakers or to the um, people covering the issue in the media because it's, it's kind of, uh, a, I think, a no-brainer that if you're threatened with something that you want to find out how to make the threat minimal. And in this case, we know how to make the threat minimal. We know what you know, good nutrition looks like. We know what a good exercise program looks like. Um, and if we were to start encouraging people to, to follow these basic health guidelines, then uh, this would not be as serious a problem. It wouldn't. It's not a total solution, but certainly the the level of of uh, dislocation and economic hardship and um, just overall pain that the that the that the COVID virus and its effects on our society have had, uh, you know, would seem to warrant some attention being focused on avoiding getting sick.